Welcome back to Risky Concepts RC. Today I've got a customer, uh, I don't know, I guess you call it a restoration or modification. Uh, when this came in, I've got a couple photographs. It looked basically like this. So you see, kind of not so pretty in the uh, overall condition. Had some problems, some parts missing here and there. So first and foremost, uh, this is what it looks like now. All I've got left is to put the, the side pieces on. Um, well, what I did was put uh, take this from a stock plastic chassis, put a Risky Concepts chassis on it. This is the stock length chassis. Uh, the reason I haven't put the side plates on is I wanted to offer the opportunity to see what it looks like inside. Once the side plates go on, you won't be able to see anything. Oops, sorry about all the jostling around. So there's the back steering, and then the front steering. Oops. Looks like I got one more screw to put in. I had to do some adjusting here. It wasn't doing quite what I wanted it to. Now, as far as parts that I had to add or replace, uh, the rear guard here was broken. See, here's the uh, here's half of here's part of what was broken. So I replaced the rear guard. Uh, it did not have motor covers front or rear, so I had to put those on. The front gearbox, one of the halves, I had all the little ears or tabs or whatever called broken off, so I could not bolt up the front bumper on this side. Uh, two of the shocks were missing the lower shock perches, so I had to add those. And then I went through and put in the Dubro heavy-duty rod ends, because there were a bunch of random ones and sure you saw in that picture there were some pink ones and some other stuff and some of the good ones that I took off I had to put on two of the shocks then I went ahead and uh, put in the rest of the parts so we've got uh, Savox servos hot racing aluminum servo savers and then uh, just steering links and rod ends and these are the Risky Concepts uh, servo mounts. Now, like I said, I got one more screw to put in. But basically, what's left is to put that in. Now, I'll shoe glue it in so it'll be permanent. But that's what you get. And then on the body, when I got it, the body was painted, but that was it. So, I added the decal, I installed the engine permanently to the body, I installed LEDs, and shoe glue them to the body and paint, them, paint the wires black so they disappear, installed the roll bar and the bumpers. Customer provided the roll bars and the bumpers, but he did not have any decals, so these are just some random decals that I had left over. Since I do a lot of the bodies where I paint the tail lights and I paint the the back strip, I had that extra. And same with this, I usually paint this, so I had the Chevy logo. Now with the roll bar, all the lights were broken off, so I took it apart, flipped it around, and cut all the tabs off put it back together to make it look better doesn't look brand new but sure looks a lot better than it did when it got here and that's the, the that can be said for, well and I also trimmed the body it was already trimmed but it wasn't 
it wasn't very even, it wasn't very smooth. So there you go. It's a Team Blue Groove body. Now, I've got installed in here just a Traxxas 5-channel receiver that I was running with just a regular Traxxas TQI radio. So, if I plug this in, empty slot. So what I've got is I've got, because it's a, a TQI, Traxxas receiver, the front servo is plugged into channel one, the back servo is plugged into channel one. There's actually two, it's upside down, but there are two channel ones. Then there's a channel two, that's where the speed control is plugged into. Channel three is what I got the lights plugged into. And then channel four is the fan for the hobby wing speed control. And just a short little antenna. But now, with this plugged in, I can plug the battery in. And then turn the speed control on. Put this up there. And you can see we've got some pretty decently bright lights considering the lights that are on and they're still that bright. There. So that's what you got there. That's the finished truck. And then I will go ahead and uh, switch right over to a couple minutes of it, of me test driving it, doing some circles and stuff in the driveway, just wanting to make sure everything works. So that's a Kyosho USA 1 customer project that is finished. And here she is in action.
Okay, so that's all I got for you today. If you got any comments or any questions, uh, feel free to leave your comments below or questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.